I'm just going to do this on the go uh, because it's it's really the stuff that I see. It's really is uh, quite extraordinary, you know. How <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I started with the word liar. I'm gonna zoom myself in to make this a little, you know, a liar, you know, like that, right? And uh, as a Google, that's what I got. That's what Google gave on the first spot. Like there's a liar. And the Google gave this. Now that's already very, very different than what I got a little earlier. Let me see if it's gonna look any different. Eventually it looks different. It looks different. Yeah, just what I got, it's now different. Uh, but what do we have? We got uh, still Pretty much, this is the first one I get from the thesaurus.com. It's going to give you a cheat, storyteller, con artist. I will give you a phony falsifier. It appears to be uh, some detective would be writing this stuff, you know? Fabricator. Fabulist. Equivocator. Provo provoc I don't even know those. Promoter, trickster, deluder, fabler. False witness, misleader, dissimilar, deceiver, phony. But it appears to me that this detective from the Google or Thesaurus.com didn't really get what the neo Nazi is. That's fucking scary. Because. This is basically what I got. Let's go back a little bit. It's quite uh, crazy stuff I see here. Synonyms for the Nazi. And it says here authoritarian. Uh, it says autocratic. That's what Google is pushing forward. Monolithic, oppressive, tyrannical, undemocratic, obsolete, and even communist is a Nazi. According to the Google, communist is a Nazi. I had no fucking idea that communist would be a Nazi. I heard about the phony communists, but not that the communists would be Nazis. So that's quite interesting. Authoritarian it is, autocratic, monolithic, oppressive, tyrannical, undemocratic, according to Google, absolute, communist, total, total, totalistic, despotic it is. It's a fascist, fascistic one party. Um, I don't know, we are talking about the Nazi. We're not talking about the fascism. We are talking about the Nazi. I have specifically inquired about Nazi, not about the fascist. Fascist is a hate. But here we're talking about the Aryan ideology. We're talking about the Nordic race. And I just somehow did not get any, any information about this stuff. Which is, for the Google, I must say, kind of a strange to push this shit forward. Uh, how about if you click here, it says Nazis here. I don't want to go and click for the Nazis. I, this is a single person. Because I understand that liar is what you see here. But going over United Nations, seeing this here, it says peace, dignity, equality on a healthy planet. And I see right here, it, it says here, together for better internet, fake news. You know, fake news, as you hear, uh, fake news, we, we are worrying about the fake news, COVID, you know, all kinds of fake news we see here, all kinds of stuff here that we see, all kinds of stuff we see here, together for a better planet, the internet and social media empower societies with an enormous opportunity for people to communicate, engage and learn. Our digital platforms have also been used as a vectors of disinformation, hate speech, conspiracy theories and other potential harm from content. Really? Really? Hmm. It's not uh, only that digital platforms have been used as vectors for dis disinformation. Only. If we go back a little bit, I touch that subject of liar. A very, very colorful description, like detective written. Very colorful description, somebody with, you know, specifically kind of a 
twisted mind stuff hate speech i can nothing but agree with that and it's a conspiracy theories and other position harmful content okay the united nations energy online safety through various programs you know the conspiracy theories can be very dangerous when you call them conspiracy theories and just happened so that you make out of the true like the my case is seen me as a conspiracy theory and then you rationalize through somebody like donald trump that comes really with a wild crazy shit bad crazy insane shit theory as a form of truth now that can be really dangerous when you prove that behind the conspiracy theory you don't you don't because united nations is supposed to act as an independent organization as an independent institution but it doesn't it doesn't he's talking about together for better internet this and that he's saying here look at that guterres warns countries laying out his priorities in 2023 and so on and so forth you know this is a problem countries we say countries listen to me very good when you rely on the countries as an independent institution, the countries quickly can prove you that you are established for a completely wrong reason. Because when the complete folly, a complete crap, a conspiracy actually comes to life through the issues such as uh, elections, let's say, like a fake elections results, like they are playing in the United States of America, something should be condemned at large by United Nations. That can be really, really fucked up for that, uh, especially for that other part, which, you know, this here, fake news, all that kind of stuff. Did you see? Apply to, when you do the Google, something as a liar. You know, provo provocator, provocator, promoter, trickster, deluder, fabler, false witness, false witness, equivocator, fabricator, fabulist, fabulist falsifier fiber minor misleader dissimulator storyteller phony perjurer con artist cheat in the world where we live nobody even gives a fuck about the truth we can all see what goes on in ukraine with russia people are dead left and right but you know nobody gives a shit about the truth what the truth is in the world we live today, the people only, governments only give a shit about one thing. That when you are given the witness, and this is in my case, United Nations is ignoring at large, involving this crime since 1995. You look as a provocateur, as a deluder, as a failure, as a false witness. That's what they care about. But when it comes to a real fables, a real lies, they cover them with not seeing you basically ignoring the truth setting you aside so how do you refer to this kind of phenomena if not as a liar as a cheat as a con artist mr guterres perjurer phony storyteller deceiver you're not independent organization at united nations and you are under no means a human rights organization established basically what i see here is as You've been established for a peace, dignity, and equality on a healthy planet. Sir, what you have listed under your website, and your main website as a main news, somehow does not go with reality. Yeah, but that's a completely different subject. I don't want to get into it. But, you know, a liar is liar. But when you have people like Guterres, like Joe Biden, like Putin, you have this military of these people that somebody from the United Nations repeatedly, all everybody refers to everybody a leader. If you go to whatever country you go in the, the world for the last 30 years, you're going to say the leader uh, from such a, or on the news, on the media, they're going to say it's a leader. Leader said this, leader stated that, leader said that well, whatever country is a leader, it's a bunch of autocrats for the last three years that came together to the table and make this big plan according to which they work all together. It's all the leader. It's all the So how do you, you call? This is for the single liar. But how do you call 
a number of tricksters, a number of liars, a number a number of fabricators, fabulous, violence that are using the police to enforce their views, deluders, fabblers, false witnesses, provocateurs at large. Where is the expression for the number of liars, con artists, plotters? Where is that? Where is the expression for that? I couldn't find one. I looked for one, and I went right here, and I couldn't find one. This is just for the liar. But what about for the liars? What, what do you have? What is a number of them? What does Google? What are uh, what uncle liars? Okay, many. What is the synonym for many liars? There is nothing. It goes right back, because you know why? Because the number of liars doesn't exist. It can't be something like this, for fuck's sake. So it's a group. It's a group, it is group. They work together. For the last 30 years, they work together. These are leaders. They call it, they are leaders because they refer to each other as a leader. And they are elected as prime ministers, as a minister, as a president. And it doesn't matter what country around the world. That's basically how they see each other. And they are demonstrated like this by the TV. This is the official account from the country, from the countries. And I go back again and again here to the United Nations. Warns countries, laying down, warns countries. United Nations should be independent. This should be the institution to whom humanity, at least, should be entrusted as like your last refuge if you find you ever find yourself in trouble. I got a feeling that this is like a source of all the problems. I got a feeling this is like a source of all this information, beginning with a guy from Eritrea, Gebre Jesus. I don't actually know which way I would turn when it comes to this stuff because these people all purchased, they all sold politically, so sold brokered that it's unbelievable. By their countries, by their countries, they're not in the United Nations to represent the United Nations. They are in United Nations to represent United Nations through the political system country where they came to represent exactly what I stated. So there is no such thing like a number of liars. There's no there's no interpretation. For the number of liars. But you know, a number of liars, that's a that's what applied to plot. Do you know that's a plot that's called organized crime? The Google seems like it does not know. That's a mafia, organized crime, gangsters, you know, conspiracy, no longer theorists, but conspirators, because they bring things to certain status. And then we go back here. And we go find this really, really interesting because it's, it's again on a Tesseros and it is for the Nazis, no longer for the Nazi, but for the Nazis, for, for the group of people. You know what they say? They change the story. Now that's a different thing. National socialist, black shirt, Nazi, brown shirt, authoritarian, autocrat, totalitarian, tyrant, anti Semite. Jingle is racist, xenophobe. Yeah, I finally agree with that. But you have to add S. Because it appears that single cannot be. It's got to be a group with an S. Well, I think the S is missing also on the word of liar. And I think that the Nazis and the liars is exactly what we have on the stage for the last 30 years. But the news that you have seen from United Nations miraculously changed from yesterday to today. It's already other news is no anymore the news that you have seen. But this video still, I'm going to bring one to life. I thought for Mr. Gutierrez that he would like to know perhaps what I'm going to charge one with. This is this is a very very good subject that he brought on a table.
And he started the subject in 1995. He assigned himself as a special status as uh, some sort of investigator that would like observe like a third party this thing here the whole thing you know and would eventually even bring me to the new york maybe in 2023 for me so that i would witness about certain things and so on i did witness and there is no such thing as third party mr gutierrez i was very very clear about it and i i have to disappoint you you're gonna have to bear with me because it doesn't look I'm even going down. You guys were buying time yourself. You guys were you guys are a cheat. A phonies. Liars. That much for your New York. You, sir, Mr. Gutierrez, you did not investigate anything. You enforced lies. You are one of the main, main, main rotten reasons, rotten causes for the bloodshed in Ukraine today. Do you know that you are one of the main people who caused the bloodshed in Ukraine? I'm going to blame you for it. You're going to witness to me. You're going to respond on a questions to me. Questions like, let's say, for instance, when you were here and I asked you about when you came here, when Alex Jones, for instance, was redistributing the lies about it was all over the Internet. It was a time when I was thrown literally out of the United States. I was drawing myself in crime. And it was all over the Internet with Alex Jones involved since 95 in this. All over the Internet, how it's the United Nations. And this shit went on for like maybe 15 years alex jones enforced that stuff in united states of america with your permission sir with your third party permission sir and i blamed you for it right inside of this room you remember when you came inside of this room and i asked you about i asked your united nations representative and said how the fuck do you allow your how the hell do you allow for somebody to redistribute lies about United Nations on how United Nations have assaulted United States of America and is trying to impose martial law throughout the United States of America. Do you remember? Alex Jones redistributed, and I know so because I asked you back then, why did you not question? Who the fuck should question that kind of stuff, the U.S. government? That U.S. government have allowed. Why is it that U.S. government have stepped on fit to Alex Jones when he was in question about the school shooting over there in in Texas? Why haven't they questioned Alex Jones in respect to United Nations? What kind of participant in United Nations is United States of America? What kind of New York? Where the New York? How you are the third party? how you are the head of united nations sir i beg your pardon but you don't even know where your ass and where your brain are you don't know the difference between the two when you stated me how you are going to investigate and how are you going to this and that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about how did united nations allow the united states of america to continuously disseminate lie about how united nations is trying to impose the martial law in united states of america when i was this was during the time when i completely find myself fucking madness jobless blacklisted from one continent to the other listening to that shit looking about what's going on about how un is coming with the military to to take over control of united states of america how they're going to Im, uh, impose the martial law through the united states of america you came inside of this house and said how the fuck do you allow and you're not questioning that stuff huh? and what was your answer there was no fucking answer so 
You're saying what about misinformation, sir? Misinformation is what exactly for you, sir? Mr. Guterres, what is the misinformation for you? I'm going to tell you what misinformation, the biggest misinformation there is, is the forgotten truth. Is what you should have questioned and you failed to deliberately to question for 15 years. I'm not talking about you because you were in a shadow back then. I'm talking about all other UN representatives, bosses, chiefs, directors, heads of United Nations, like you are yourself right now. Why have they not questioned this issue? The government of the United States of America. With what right did the United States of America government disseminate the lie that it's United Nations territory with the military going inside of the U.S. territory? You remember the hyping people with the guns? The arrival of Donald Trump? How have you done your job, sir? You're talking about the misinformation. You have done the biggest part of the misinformation there is. You are the reason why Donald Trump came to the power. And Donald Trump, the good friend, best buddy of Vladimir Putin, of Sergei Lavrov, of Medvedev, caused a bloodshed through Ukraine. And you are sitting as a head of the United Nations, and you said, I'm going to come to New York, and I'm going to be witnessing for you. Sir, I'm going to get your fucking ass arrested. And he goes the same thing to Joe Biden. You work with him since 1995. You conspire to overthrow the Constitution. The country of the United States of America and cause the bloodshed in Ukraine. How the hell are you going to be proceeding? How the hell are you going to be investigating anything when you are one of the main conspirators in this thing? And I just proven you so. That's nice that you expose what conspirator, liar, basically, all that stuff, how that looked like. But what are that makes you look as a head of the United Nations when you look the other way than what you should? When person is addressing you with the problems and you're addressing countries with the lies because you're buying time. You wanted to buy time through the cancer, through the thrombosis, through the severe health issues that you bring about. You believe you're going to you're going to put me down on knees that I'm going to solely breathe mercy, basically, begging for survival, basically. Sir, I'm going to get you arrested. You should have been jailed. You should have been imprisoned. I addressed you with my concerns over and over again since 2006. Since 2006, I addressed you with my issues with need for assistance. You look the other way, you look the opposite way. When Alex Jones was distributing lies that brought totalitarianism, that armed the United States of America to teeth, that brought total fuck up, total, total, total anarchism to the country. You also look the other way. You had other people also look the other way. Why have you not investigated? You're not you're not represented from United Nations. You can you what? Who you work for? How are you going to run some kind of investigation based on the stuff that I stated right now? And you were involved in this shit since 1995. You met here with the Vladimir Putin personally in this house since 1995. God knows how many fucking times here. With your fable tellers, with your bullshitters. With your conspirators, gangsters, mafia. Because it was not one, because it's you, the leaders. And how much do you love to address them as a leader at the United Nations? A leader. We met with the leader. I met with the leader this. I met with the billionaire here. I met with the super billionaire there. And so if you don't address the issue, the issue doesn't exist, right? Some issues like this goes to uh, to oblivion. They go to into into complete air. They no longer exist. And so you you write the history. You write the history on what, which are way what, who gave you an order for disseminate lies, and who gave you an order for not to see the truth. Who are you working for, sir?
I'm going to tell you who you work for. I'm going to tell you exactly who you work for. You work for the German. You work for the Germans. You work for the people who are the best of the best. You work for the people whom nobody have managed to beaten up. Or I should say nobody have managed to beaten in their own territories. That's who you work for. You work for the people that write laws and see things as it fits their agenda. And they don't give a shit. They don't really care about the better, the best, who can what or who did what. But they, they built a brick house based on their needs. Some bricks they throw away. And they place bricks wherever they need bricks to step higher. You work for the people that have exterminated other people blatantly in the face of the world without caring to pay any kind of issues. You, your agenda is actually identical to the neo-Nazi Germany at the United Nations today. You are no, you're no peace and prosperity. You are, you conspired to work against everything United Nations stood for 80 years ago when it was established, when it was open. You conspired to completely overthrow United Nations, to completely change absolutely everything about the United Nations through the perception of placing humanity face of the evil literally so that you who caused this evil could step in front of humanity and negotiate look even good in front of humanity and negotiate deals according to your taste your the peace deals that we see have taken place all over the place all over the world with equaling nazis with the terrorists you gotta wonder yourself, ask yourself, whatever you're from, whether you fit in the category of the Nazis or you you fit in the category of the terrorists to be exterminated. And you placed yourself a mask of humanity. You found the cure for absolutely everything. Nazis are absolute evil. You got nothing, obviously, to do with. And the terrorists, well, that, that can be, that's a very, very universal thing. You can find them in the black people. You can find them in the Asian people. You can find them in people they tried to exterminate in Germany 80 years ago, and they couldn't. They tried to exterminate people that have exceeded the German expectations and have somehow evolutionized themselves, evolved into upper class society with the companies open, with the capital in their hands. But they couldn't beat, as I stated, you can't beat German in their own system, in their own country. Because if you're smarter, if you're better Elon Musk, right? If you're better than Elon Musk, Elon Musk is going to come with something better. Like he's going to fucking throw you books on fire. Misinformation, censorship, internet, you know. And finally, after you're being used as a, in my case, after being accused to have something to do with what on both parts of my family during the Second World War we suffered victims on my mother's side and on my father's side fought against the neo-Nazism 
uh, after you label people with the neo-Nazism, and I think it's about the same thing you do with the terrorism, so that you can evolve the Nazism. Whatever there is no Nazism, you use terrorism to evolve the Nazism. And whatever there is Nazism, maybe you use, I don't know, definitely you, you use terrorism to finally what exactly, sir? To murder people with the Nazism. In my case, yeah, first I was accused with being Nazi, but with the speed of what is developing today around the world, I can already predict I'm actually going to be murdered by the Nazis. By the real Nazis, by those that have given on my face a mask of a neo-Nazi. You are a fuck-up, Mr. Guterres, and so are you, Joe Biden. Both of you. Joe, you are no president of the United States of America. I know about your presidency way ahead. I have no idea how the fuck you do it. But the system is completely failed. And it's universally failed, also at the United Nations, so that we don't have an institution, we don't actually have organization that would enforce the law, the constitution. Not even at the United Nations, we don't have anybody that would supersede and ensure that people who come inside of the United Nations to behave like the kings and queens, I'm talking about the secretaries, I'm talking about the people from Africa, from Asia, from South America, from European Union, de facto the salaries at the united nations are pretty good don't make that much difference but what bothers me is that people mistaken heavily their assignments the assignment of united nations to the world as, as salaries and they see themselves rather salaries profitable uh and confused with the majesties with uh, a real estate possession they owe, uh, with the wealth, they tend to uh, become wealthy through these jobs at the United Nations, buying themselves real estate, properties, uh, getting all kinds of special favors from all kinds of governments, lobby. United Nations became a source of heavy corruption or other than what was uh, intended for. My grandfather was a representative for United Nations here in Slovenia. He had a connections with the international people because he was very well recognized due to World War II struggle. And you guys, I don't fucking recognize you. I don't know who the fuck you are. You are not representing United Nations. And I don't know who the fuck you're gonna question. We have had barrage of disasters going for the last 30 years. With wars raging all over Mideas, all the way to Afghanistan, Northern Africa, all over. It was nothing but war rage. Now it's a bloodshed, it's a massacre through Ukraine in Eastern Europe. And you guys aren't providing any kind of answers. You guys aren't questioning. You guys aren't fucking doing anything. You guys are twisting the picture about how something it's going to be. This and that. You're like fucking nervous. You don't know how you would actually hide all this stuff. And you're doing it with unbelievable stuff. How the hell Alex Jones was charged with school shooting issue when opposed to something like redistributing to the world, not only United States of America, how it's United Nations that are coming to USA to impose the martial law, You're fucking coming home and get you guns and stuff like this. This shit went on for 15 years. It was, it was the stuff that, let me tell you something, eh? I was looking for the job, I didn't know what the fuck I'm gonna have a caterpillar I'm going to wake up like a, with a caterpillar in the morning. I was half insane. Looking for a way out throughout the entire Europe, running back and forth, didn't know what the fuck to do. And it was a madness. 
It was a madness. Uh, madness to the degree I no longer knew what the fuck goes on. I was certain, in fact, that it was United Nations that is doing all that stuff. That's United Nations that is just... Gonna whack me, basically. Observe me and all this stuff and nothing goes on and everything everything I do everything is wrong and I had no idea who who to turn to what what to do anymore about this stuff me I turned in the wrong direction for no reason that would assign to myself that anything would be wrong with me it was every institution that failed me the most that failed me the, mo the institution that failed me the most was United Nations and this is the 29 year of MK ultra torture I'm reporting to you this you are not enforcing the stuff you were created for you don't serve the purpose cybersecurity what the fuck is to you cybersecurity this is something new to you. You you don't know anything about the cybersecurity and stuff like this, misinformation and so on. This comes in a variety of ways, and it's the stuff that can be enforced. Like for instance, I'm banned from posting on Facebook. Why don't you go and enforce the fucking Facebook? Why don't you have them contact and ask why am I not allowed to post on the Facebook? Let's say why my blog was po was censored when it's account of facts not of your fables and you're there to actually step out and 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 say that you're gonna lay out the plan to the to, to the countries and you were coming here and you you say you, you claim that that you're gonna bring me to the new york that i'm gonna witness for you and stuff like this how the fuck am i gonna witness to you you got a witness to me sir you got to confirm my accounts and I have no idea how you're going to do it because the, the issues that you alone have implicated yourself in. How are you going to do this stuff? How are we going to do that stuff? I don't see how you do it. With Joe Biden. Um, if I would be, I'm just using this, this, um, this mouse and sometimes it doesn't grab. If I would be waiting um, if I would be waiting for, they say in, in Slovenia, this is a song, Nechaka in Amai. If I would be waiting, God forbid, what, summer? Summer what, 2023? Or maybe 2024? Or maybe 2025? Or holy never till you drop dead, basically, right? You're poor excuse for United Nations. I don't I don't understand any of this stuff. I see that Joe Biden is all happy that he is now this is this is a new this is a new page, ladies and gentlemen. Today is this is the next day. They are at least paying to something else at the United Nations. And what you have seen earlier, that was recorded yesterday. Yeah, that was recorded yesterday, but this is the today's page, this here, this here, this is the today's page. They're at least paying, they're at least paying issues or something else, whatever that is, but world is definitely not heading for better. Um... Uh, this 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 whole page this stuff here reminds me of ukraine they'll get tanks i don't know how many tanks and then again they'll get tanks and this is just when they ran out of tanks they delivered them more tanks you know but here in this case if you want to liberate the land if you want to liberate the country um uh, you gotta have not disposable but you gotta have certain amount of weapons certain amount of uh tools that you can use at your this as at your disposal when you need for whatever issue you need so you can get ahead not so basically that 
is somewhere written, as is going to be in this case, Mr. Gutierrez, when you met here with Vladimir Putin so many times since 1995, and others like British royals, Royale, the one that you work for, um, not so it's going to be written somewhere. In year 2030 is going to be written war between Ukraine and Russia. Um, so many and so many tanks was given to Ukraine. Um, you know, this is going to be for the people who's going to see, who's going to watch the map, <laughs> which is going to be uh, portraying how much land the Russia gained. how much of the Ukrainian soil or Russia have gained. Uh, and it's going to be countries, you know, for every country contributed so much and so much. And so much. But nobody, nowhere is going to be written that it was always delivered when it was already far, far, far uh, without almost any fucking essence other than to defend uh, the remaining territory. It was not intended to liberate the country, but it was just so that you can write the numbers someplace and basically cover your ass, Mr. Gutierrez. Am I correct about that? Is it the same technology you're using like you did, let's say, here, with this stuff here? Because it's a bigger crime than the crime the U.S. government, like Joe Biden is trying to, they try to cover up now with this. You know, you remember when you had all this stuff with how you how the UN is going to come throughout the United States, and it, this this is what this shit was enforced in the, by the U.S. government. When I say enforced by the U.S. government, that means that the U.S. government have turned a blind spot to this, with the permission of United Nations, have continued to disseminate bullshit. How it's United Nations that are going to conquer. United States of America are going to impose the martial law, the, the, the oath keepers and so on. Uh, hey, see more anyway, huh? Today, when you look at this news, do you even see how the UN, where's the news about United Nations, let me ask you, imposing the martial law? When you enter this in a Google search, Alex Jones, United Nations, martial law, where do you see now about... United Nations, you remember the pictures with you with United Nations with the blue helmets? Already they they claim they already came down in I don't know in Arizona or whatever state that they already they already put boot to the ground and they're coming to get the weapons and they're gonna enforce the socialism, the communism and so on. You remember that stuff? Sir. National Socialism never existed. National Socialism never ever existed. Did you know this? That National Socialism never ever existed? National Socialism, that's a Nazism. They call it, they call it Nazis, they call them National Socialists. It never existed. Nazi existed. Nazi. Aryan. The one who considered himself an Aryan and gave himself the right to wipe other people out. That one existed, but National Socialism, that's not socialism. That's not fucking socialism. The Hitler had a final solution and plan for the Japanese, for all the Asians. For <laughs> Asians are mongoloids. That's how he referred to them, mongoloids. There never was any kind of national socialism. Come on, now. It's called socialism, national socialism. It was the issue that was used to murder Jews, Roma people, Slavic people, black people, Asian people, anything they could come a hold of. Especially Jews. 
because the jewel just happened so that have demonstrated the ability not only to survive in a German system, but to actually enforce superiority through the hard work and IQ. Simple as this within the society. And so then we call it socialism in its national, in the name of the communism, if you like, fuck it. Why not? The better. Blame it on somebody else than on Aryan, right? So then you have a national socialism. National socialism never, never existed. There is no Nazism and communism that have two things common. Communism is preaching that all the races are indifferent from one another. That all ethnicities are equal to one another. That people should unite and work together for better. That's that all. That's not. That's not. Um, that doesn't apply to Arianism. Where is it? All yes, all but Asians, Blacks, Eastern Europeans, and so on and so forth. It's reduced to five percent. Of the population in this world if it's five percent i think even the southern part of germany such as uh, munich area over there down from half of the germany it's, it doesn't qualify for that so i i probably would probably we are talking about less we're probably talking about maybe three percent altogether with the scandinavia with the britain and some parts and so on Blue helmets in the United States of America coming inside of your home confiscate your weapons, your right to carry weapon. Why? 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 If you were head of the United Nations, why haven't you protested against that? Why didn't you submit the protest note at the United Nations to your American counterpart for disseminating, for allowing this kind of lies to be disseminated? You have not. But you're okay now, because now it says, well, you know, Alex Jones was charged with, I don't know how much fucking money for um, a terror, uh, yeah, um, for his claim that victims of school shootings, I don't know. I don't know, because I don't follow that shit anymore. This, this is, I don't know what is crazier. Is it alternative media or is it mainstream media? One is liar word than the other. One is, one is bigger liar than the other. With the United Nations, it's the biggest one of them all. You cannot but say that you're not lying when you, when you, when you see the opposite way from issues as big as this. And then you fucking go on your website and you fucking wear the like coat of hypocrisy and you say you say in your website you say it's a misinformation. We enforce now the cyber crime and this and that. Really? That's a smart way of enforcing things, but things had it for the worst of the worst for the last 30 years, Mr. Guterres. You assign yourself as a special investigators especially from united nations you follow my case for the last 30 years that much for your i don't know contribution to this case and what the joe biden is gonna what now i'm gonna start to enforce this shit this week that's coming and you better believe it both of you are in it I'm not going to stop short from submitting a subpoena. I don't give a fuck about you being United States of America and you're being uh, head of United Nations. I don't care about it. I'm going to be waiting for your summertime blues to see myself, if, if still I'm going to even be alive, whatever. I don't see any blue helmets here. Do you see any blue helmets? So, 
The cybersecurity, what is the cybersecurity? That means what? To wipe the evidence from the internet? Do you see anywhere? Trust me, I can assure you. This here, the police state, what it says, the police state. Alec Jones was just one of the people. It was a hysteria that went on for 15 years throughout the internet. Total fuck up. Much, much worse than coronavirus. Because we go from one scam to the other we go. To literally decide who is Nazi and who is the terrorist. As a matter of fact, who's going to be terrorist today and who's going to be Nazi tomorrow. Because this is how it goes. There's nothing that can be seen anymore about how the blue helmets uh, lounge themselves already on a U.S. soil. And this is how far this information have gone. And you wouldn't believe this, but United States government have done absolutely nothing in respect to this issue that very, very, very much concerned United Nations. Never mind United Nations. So when you say a liar, a cheater, um, and all this stuff, uh, because it's flea, the digital platforms have been when you see this, the internet and social media empower society with enormous opportunities for people to communicate, engage, and learn. However, digital platforms have also been used as a vectors of disinformation, hate speech, conspiracy theories. Sir, you're going to have to declare this a little bit more closely to me about these issues. You need to declare a little bit more, you'll be more precise about this stuff, because there undoubtedly is all that stuff. There's a lot of, about this fake news. But the question is, when is being done what? And what is not being done at all? And it concerns you. You personally have concerned you so much and you haven't done anything. Today, what we see is not for better. We see a bloodshed throughout Ukraine. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. So the man who was practically talking about a blue helmets, how they landed uh, throughout the United States of America and have entered private homes with the rifles, blue helmets. They imposed the martial law, like a Martians, literally. Now gets, never got reprimanded or anything like this, but now gets to talk about victims of the school shooting. Basically, in the same context, in the same form as I was prompted by the people who are meeting inside here to see pictures. And they demonstrated me a number of people for whom they claimed have suffered for death certificates. There were new state IDs that were issued to them. Even exampled online through the certain news how somebody spot dead husband over there and dead spouse in a restaurant and stuff like this. Nothing, however, ever anything that would... Is it possible, folks? How many billion people are on this planet? Nothing ever there will be anybody who would be issued a death certificate However, that would falsely be even issued a death certificate, which is completely, completely impossible thing to happen. Even if you want to hide the witness, you want to make certain witness disappear and so on. Uh, that stuff, everybody knows, frequently have taken place. Yet, but in the in the media, in the news, you can't read about any of that stuff. But still, Alex Jones, because big conspirator. Is now being the man who who was disseminating about the United Nations, how they are they already have launched a cell in the US and are enforcing martial law throughout the United States of America, confiscating weapons from the people, that those who will not surrender the, the weapons, they will be shot at, and so on. He got his way out.
he got his way out. I want to be really, really precise about this stuff here. Conspiracy theorists He got his way out. Oh, he's got a really, really extensive record, and he is really not there by coincidence. This man is everything by coincidence. This is a government individual, completely. Yeah, he's got issue with a COVID. The conspiracies like this, folks, all the conspiracies like this, are distributed to the public by, in this case, by the U.S. government, who also was distributing using me uh, for its goals by the British government, by the Germans, uh, and it's basically how they enforce the picture. This picture is, is evident doesn't have to come out as it is, but it's enough that it is accomplishing a certain role in a certain moment. Like in a confusion I found myself in, I didn't know where I would turn, not for job, not for United Nations. And I happened just so to have turned for the worse. I, I'm afraid I was not the only person. And United Nations had everything to do with it, not a little bit. It's enough that you close eyes in a crucial moment for just a little bit, and it's a disaster that happened. This was my case. It's an individual like this that dangerously, closely, I'm going to say, affiliated himself to my case, because as much as I got information from him publicly when... I mean, who didn't? About his issues, his whereabouts with the United Nations. He is now, he is sick now through the government, literally. Mass shooting, Sandy Hook. School mass shooting. He claimed that several governments and big business have colluded to create a new world order through manufactured economic crisis, sophisticated surveillance, tech above all inside job terror, terror attacks that fuel exploitable hysteria. Yeah, but this, this, this is to discuss here. This issue here is to discuss. You see, the government is claiming that he colluded, uh, that he lied about manufactured economic crisis, sophisticated surveillance, and so on. Um, you see, the government already is using certain issue to, I don't even have doubts about manufactured economic crisis, sophisticated surveillance. There is no doubt about that stuff. But what scares me is that you see, the government already is using worse issues than that. He came up with crazier claims in respect to the Sandy Hook school mass shooting, to which he had to pay the compensation, basically. And it was not related. To the stuff that is related to me directly to my case. And it's the kind of case, it's exactly this kind of case, this exact individual again that is being used for the government to find its way out out of my case. And this is the case the US government have found itself in for the last 30 years. You understand? They used me to promote certain things that are happening today in Ukraine around the world that took place around the world and it's now that the u.s government is using somebody else this exact same individual who promoted certain things literally through united nations 
with assistance of United Nations, that he is finding his way out. Talking about, again, U.S. government, governments, United Nations, talking, hey, finding its way out, out of my case. That's what I have a tremendous problem with, because we don't have agency that would enforce the truth. It's not the same today or tomorrow or next year or what's going to be in 2050 as it was in 2010 or 20 or 2000 or whatever. You understand? And so they are creating a perception that is false picture based on which they are just what exactly have we stated is a definition for the liar. You know, it says it's a person who tells lies, falsifier. It's difficult to be falsifier. To be a falsifier, you need a group of the people. But the question here is, because I'm not falsifying the truth, I'm giving you the account, and I have proofs for my account. The question here is, obviously, Liars exist in this case, but you know, the liars only exist for certain agenda. They only exist when there is certain agenda that goes on. Now, can you spot the difference of agenda? Can you tell what agenda is for the last 30 years? I think I was clear in the video about these issues. Liars, liars, it's a band. You know, this is just a band. The liars just don't be liars. And it's a Facebook, it's Instagram. What is this? Liars. Huh? What is this? Liars. Liar. There is a liar. There is a definition for a liar. It's a person. It's always a person who tells lies. You understand? It's a person. It's a single. It's a person who tells lie. He tells lies. It doesn't have to be lie, but he tells lies. He's a liar. But for the liars, there is nothing about the liars. We don't know anything about the liars. Everywhere is a liar. You see? Liar. Liar. It's always a liar. Because it's a single individual, it's always a lie. But if it's a group of liars, they don't exist. There is no such thing like a group of liars. That's all I wanted to clarify about that stuff. It's twisting and turning the word, the truth around in United Nations. Unfortunately, United Nations has cybersecurity. Unfortunately, United Nations. United Nations, unfortunately, when it comes to the fake news, United Nations got absolutely everything to do with it. I will not let go of this stuff. I will not let go of this stuff. So there is no such thing like a number of liars. There's no there's no inter interpretation for the number of liars. But you know, a number of liars, that's a that's what applied to plot. Do you know that's a plot that's called organized crime? The Google seems like it does not know. That's a mafia, organized crime, gangster, you know, conspiracy, no longer theorists, but conspirators, because they bring things to certain status. And then we go back here, and we go find this really, really interesting, because it's, in, it's again on a Tesoros, and it is for the Nazis. No longer for the Nazis, but for the Nazis, for, for the group of people. You know what they say? They change the story. Now that's a different thing. National Socialist, black shirt, Nazi, brown shirt, Authoritarian, autocrat, totalitarian, tyrant, anti-Semite, jingleist, racist, xenophobe. Yeah, I finally agree with that. But you have to add S. Because it appears that single cannot be. It's got to be a group with an S. Well, I think the S is missing also on the word of liar. And I think... 
that the not cis and the liars is exactly what we have on the stage for the last 30 years. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Google is not doing too damn good.